What's up guys, Eli here today to talk about my Unitronic intercooler. Now I apologize for the exposure and the lighting. It is wicked sunny today and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon so the light is just coming right through the windshield. Just how it goes. Anyway, I got my Unitronic intercooler installed a little under a year ago and I got it installed at Speed Life Motorsports so here's some footage from the install. It's like Christmas. Whee! So exciting. No, that's uh, that's water uh, no, that makes my uh, windshield more aerodynamic. No, that's definitely water mask. Trust me. You just found it's a gas tank. I saw it on the internet once. Oh, is that E86? Oh, E86. No. That's why it's blue. Yeah. It's 86% blue. No, E86 sports fuel. Is that what? E8 sports? Yeah. Oh, it's in Something the game. like that. Yeah, it's in the E8 game. E8 sports. It's in the game. Nick, give me your, your best pit crew interpretation. You're supposed to take it. Thanks. <laughs> Zip ties because otherwise it would hit the fan. That was our solution. Also, the Unitronic logo adds. What do, what do you think? Like 20 wheel? Uh, I think on this car it actually shortens the shift time a little bit. Oh, okay. For my automatic manual transmission? Yep. Yep. Sick? What is. misconception associated with intercoolers is that they add power. Honestly, I haven't felt, maybe it's added like two or three horsepower. I, I couldn't feel the difference in power. And I was actually kind of upset when I got it installed because I got it installed in January, which is the coldest time of the year. I honestly didn't feel any difference at all. And the first time I even felt the difference was when I was driving back to school. I got up to school, which is about a 200 mile drive, and I got off the highway and there's this beautiful on-ramp and I got on it and my car felt just as fast as when I had left home 200 miles ago. Now, you may think that's, well, duh, but my car before that would get heat soaked on the 200 mile ride and definitely would not feel as fast as it did when I initially left when I got to where I was going. So, basically what I'm trying to say is the place that I feel the intercooler functions the best, and I mean, that's what they're designed to do, is making sure you have consistent power available all the time. Now what this means is hypothetically I could go out second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth on the highway, slow down, and go second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth again, and the car really wouldn't get heat soaked. I mean, I haven't tried it to that extent, but I have done, you know, some spirited back road driving where you're getting on the car constantly. The car never fails to feel the same speed that it always has. Now that wasn't true before the intercooler. Before the intercooler, we get to a point where the car would start getting heat soaked. It would start not being able to get rid of the heat that it was sucking in or that the pipes were retaining. The intercooler really, really changed that and I think it's a great investment. Now, you know, they're expensive. They're definitely expensive. I bought mine on sale from Unitronic through Speed Life, so not a bad deal. The biggest letdown about intercoolers for the GTIs is that it's actually, san the intercooler itself is actually sandwiched between the radiator and the air conditioning condenser. Oh, this is dirt. Why am I, why is there dirt in the middle of this road? 
Now, you don't get that visual appearance that you do with other intercoolers and other cars that get intercoolers where it's sitting right out front. This is still a front mount intercooler, it still sits in the front of the motor, but it doesn't sit out in front of everything else. You don't get that visual appeal that you do with, let's say, the forged twin intercooler or something like that. But at the same time, you're also replacing the whole intercooler unit instead of just adding another supplemental intercooler. I think the Unitronic intercooler works fantastic, and Unitronic's not paying me to say this or anything. I think it's a great product that just kind of is subtle. It's not something that you can see from outside the car. You would never know I have an intercooler if I didn't tell you. Now, this may not be what you're going for. In that case, sure, go for a, a forged twin intercooler or something else that mounts out front, in front of the air conditioning condenser. But for me, it made a big enough difference just upgrading the intercooler, making sure it's a quality part. With Unitronic, you know it's a quality part. Forge also makes great products, I'm not knocking Forge. Basically, this intercooler just allows you to have consistent power throughout the rev range, consistently. Would I recommend the Unitronic intercooler? Absolutely, I think it's a great product, and when they're on sale, they're actually really, really reasonably priced. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review video. Let me know if you want me to do more of these. I enjoy doing this stuff. I'm probably going to talk about some more products around my car. Take it easy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm about to become a ghost. Ready? Later.